before we went into the meeting with, with the government, we surveyed our members and we got from them recommendations, you know, certain positions, so that we would have been able to go into a meeting knowing that we had the support of our members um, with some of these things that we could have presented. So we took that to them and, and our members have said to us in a first survey that they are not in support of any salary cut. So they have said that outright. They cannot afford a salary cut at this time. Um, we understand that the country, yes, is in a bad situation, but our teachers believe that there are other means or other measures that can be taken, as you said, the cost saving and revenue enhancement measures that can be taken to assist the government in getting the necessary funds. Um, so that has been their position. So what should happen now is that we, the joint unions, must present to government by Monday or on Monday our proposal or counter, if you will, or counter proposal to what it is that they have given us. And we will present that to them on Monday. Um, cabinet is going to be meeting on Tuesday and cabinet will be reviewing our counter proposal. And then they should be getting back to us with, I guess, whatever cabinet decides on Tuesday when they review what we would have submitted. And then from there, then what we get from them is what we will take back to our members and then get from them again. This is what would possibly be, we're not sure, the final and go back to our members and then we go from there. We cannot go to the table and accept anything without our members giving us that mandate. And so if it is that there's a change to that 10%, then we have to take that back to our members. And we have to hear from our members whether they would be willing to accept something less than 10. Uh -huh. So if they are willing to accept something less than 10, then we can put that in that proposal. But up to this point, they are saying that they are not willing to accept a salary cut. Majority are saying no to salary cuts, but they are willing to make other sacrifices, but not a 10% salary cut. Because we, ha we have to also recognize that some of our people are right now suffering themselves because they, they would have had a spouse who would have lost a job and so they have gone over from two salaries, two incomes in your home to now just one. And for you to take 10% of what I am getting, it's, it might sound like a little bit to some people, but for them it's a lot.